Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 33 Tarot, which is read for you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. What's that about? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what is that? I want to know what that is. I want to know what that is. And I want to know why on top of that. Um, Gemini, 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 Gemini. Why? Why? I'm a little curious to see how this. I'm kind of curious to see how this turns out, um, or even works to the process. But jumping into this, what you do show me, you have made a decision for yourself to kind of do something here, and I feel like you're just going for it. I don't exactly know what this is, um, but you're definitely thinking about how to work on things. There's a lot of emotions invested and committed into the situation, but ultimately, I feel like there's this consideration of yes, how to work on things while considering your emotions. But this is all to kind of lead up to making some sort of decision regarding your situation, your circumstances. That being said, you are making that decision to move forward with it in some type of way, which is fascinating because it's almost like you make the decision, then you prepare yourself, and then you make another decision. And whatever these decisions are that you're making after one another, your situation is changing here in a way that it's fated or destined to take place. This is the first time I've seen the wheel today, so curious to see what this is going on. That being said, though, immediately following this, there is some sort of complication or challenged energy here. And I don't know what this is about or what this is for. And this is where I kind of have that big old why question mark written all over this energy. You're saying that there's communication between you and someone, but there's something that doesn't feel quite right. Ultimately, what you're saying is it feels like not everything is being said or expressed. But yet there is some sort of commitment or marriage relationship in place. What is going on with that? What's not fully being said? Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and kind of see what we can find. Maybe that's what the complication or the challenge is, is fully saying something. I don't know. Kind of like it feels like you're trying to figure out how to work your way up to say something. Yeah, you're you're trying to figure out your way to <laughs> to say something. Like, how do I want to say something? Do I want to say it to begin with? Do I not? You're you're considering how to do this, and there you are jumping out, and there you are jumping out. Yeah, it's so that you can make a decision, whether it be about commitment or whether I feel like it is. It's about commitment. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness. Yeah, you you want to work on things, and that's because you're you're not too happy or content with how things have turned out between the two of you, clearly. There's something here that you're still kind of processing and working on releasing. Some sort of conflict, maybe. Disagreement, argument, that type of thing. Yeah, there's a marriage in place. There's a marriage in place. This is, yeah, this is contract. But ultimately, you're saying because you are emotionally invested in this, it's, it's an energy of things will make sense in time. You just got to give it time. Okay. Okay. 
You might even be seeking out guidance or help or counseling or something. But there you are again. Heavy Gemini energy. Are you dealing with another Gemini? Oh boy, multiple Geminis. Oh yeah, there's something here. There's a bit of a juggle. There's a bit of a juggle. Multiple Geminis. You're showing me there's a commitment in their marriage, but there's also some other, other connection here. I'm not going to say on the side quite yet. Um, but it almost feels like you want to work on some sort of connection between you and someone. But it's interesting because there's also some sort of connection here that you're already involved in that you're trying to kind of figure out how to work on as well at the same time. Goodness, it's the runaround. It's the runaround. It's almost like um, trying to make this relationship work, trying to make this relationship work. Um, okay. We'll go with it and see how this progresses. <laughs> yeah. Time. <laughs> time has definitely changed your energy. That's for sure. You're showing me like, yeah, because of time and circumstances moving forward, I've gone cold but I want to be sharp and clear minded about this. How I, how I do things, how I see things, how I say things, how I move. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's a little bit of an internal battle and struggle here. You're, you're kind of like, well, let's just take it slow. Let's just take it day by day. Let's kind of see what the day brings us first. Wow. What? And that's that's where, again, it's the same energy, Gemini. There's this half communication between you and someone. Um, and that's what I'm interested in is because you're showing me half communication, but you're expecting things to move forward. And it's like, how are things going to move forward with half communication? How? How is that going to take place? That's kind of like saying, I'm just giving slightly enough just for the sake of some sort of progression or progress with us romantically. There needs to be, I feel, full, open, honest, vulnerable communication here, especially when it comes to emotions and feelings and connections and marriage. There needs to be full expression, full openness. That lets me know that there's some sort of distrust here somewhere. <laughs> you may have not liked that one <laughs> you're kind of saying regarding the commitment of the marriage that is definitely something worth fighting for i agree so who's not being open and honest and vulnerable fully i agree don't get don't get feisty or fiery with me it's an energy of look at who you're in a relationship or connection with and figure out who's not saying what that needs to be said um, and if there has been things said and there's nothing else being said, reread and go over what has been said until it makes more sense. Of course, if you are done with anyone here, Gemini, we do have showing up. Your energy, strong, strong Gemini. We also have Taurus and Virgo. Goodbye.